If we think of recent YouTubers that nearly killed their own career, Logan Paul has to be up there. A guy that made YouTube videos with his friends would pull in millions and millions of views a month and would earn scary amounts of money. After successfully trying to keep out the conversation of controversy, after some time it was inevitable that it was going to come his way some way or another. And little did he know that this mistake at the time would nearly cost his whole career. But after self-reflecting and changing his bad ways, he did manage to get his brand back to its best. This is how a 12 minute video nearly wiped Logan Paul off the internet. Growing up, he went to Westlake High School and invested a lot of time into sports to which we will compete in the school's american football team and also go to qualify for the state level ohio high school athletic association 2013 division one wrestling individual championships just from this alone you would think that he was on the path of achieving profession in sports but instead took an interesting turn when he decided to pursue content creating and at the time was probably seen as a waste of time by his close ones but it soon turned to be the best decision of his lifetime logan's content creation journey started when he was only 10 years old posting a variety of videos which seemed to have ignited something of his interest when he got to seventh grade he decided to launch his youtube channel called the official logan paul and over time we see an increase in numbers which would grow his interest five years down the line he would dive into the world of vine Growing on Vine was as simple as posting a short clip that was either funny, relatable, or controversial, to which Logan would post clips in the category of all three and would gain an insane following of 2.4 million followers in seven months. When it came to converting viewers into followers, Logan had it down to a T. But whilst he was trying to build his brand to become a social media star, he was also still committing a big chunk of his time to university, to which he was studying industrial engineering. But as his experience and growth grew within the social media scene, he would get numerous offers to be involved in digital promotion campaigns with companies like HBO, Pepsi, Nike, Haynes, Verizon and Dunkin Donuts with payouts reaching six figures. After getting these type of deals, it made no sense for Logan to continue his journey in university. So as a result of this, he took the decision to leave uni for good and pursue content full time. After becoming one of the top social media personalities, he expanded his horizon as an entertainer beyond social media. And in this pursuit, he delved into acting. He would sign with the Creative Artists Agency. His television works included portraying Rainbow Man in one of the episodes of the TV series Bad Weather Films in 2014. In 2016, he bagged a starring role in Foursome, an awesomeness TV web series. In 2017, he would run two YouTube channels, to which he would rack up millions of views weekly. So far, what we've learned from Logan's journey is that if executed properly and enough time and patience, we can all become what we desire. But what I'm about to tell you next is not what to do if you want to become a social media star. Here's the chain of events that happened that impacted his brand for the worst. June 2017, Logan appeared at VidCon, a popular convention for teens to see the favorite online creators. Logan would hide $3,000 in a secret location and was mobbed by screaming fans and was filmed being tackled to the ground by security guards. Then in September, old tweets unearthed in which Logan perpetuated racist stereotypes about black and Asian men. The community were outraged by this and were calling for Logan to be cancelled, but at the time cancel culture wasn't as big as it is today. Then the biggest mistake of his life happened. This would for sure make him the centre of attention for the wrong reason. In December 2017, Logan posted a video of him and his friends discovering a body in Japan's so-called suicide forest. This video would amass 6.3 million views in 24 hours. In the video, Logan and his friends had the idea to camp in the forest overnight, but stumbled across a corpse hanging from a tree. Logan blurred the face from the body, but as he and his friends stood around the corpse and filmed it before leaving the forest, this would blow up for the complete wrong reason. People wanted Logan off the face of the internet forever. Outrage over the video was swift. People started a petition to have Logan terminated off YouTube, which was his main source of income at the time, and nearly 200,000 people signed the petition. He was removed from Google's preferred ads program, and a planned YouTube Red movie deal was suspended. It was certainly looking like Logan's career was over. Logan Paul would respond soon after issuing an apology video. He would also write on Twitter, quote, he had never made a mistake like this before and would also say that he's taking time away to reflect. He lost all respect from fans to close friends. They couldn't personally see a way back for Logan. That's how deep of a hole he dug himself. By the end of January, Logan was back on YouTube with a documentary about suicide survivors. This was the start of Logan reviving his name and trying to show people that from his actions, he has learned a very valuable lesson and that he's changed for the good. But it would only take Logan a few weeks to make another mistake. He would go and post footage of himself tasering two dead rats. This was enough for YouTube to temporarily suspend ads on videos made by Logan due to his recent pattern of behavior. But two weeks later on, on February 26th, YouTube restored ads on his YouTube channel. But he was under a 90 day watch for them to monitor his behavior and his channel couldn't be on the trending page at this time because it seems YouTube wanted him back just so they could have more ads on the platform because he was the big name at the time, with some calling for YouTube to terminate his channel indefinitely. But the YouTube CEO said that Logan hadn't violated enough company policies at the time to get terminated, and would also say that suspending his ad revenue was actually a pretty strong statement. As a result of these incidents that Logan was involved with, he would see his views and subscribers tanked to numbers he's never seen before. 
Social Blade statistics showed a 47% drop off in views and an 88% slowdown in subscribers. The controversy also cost Logan an estimated $5 million worth of business deals. After all this controversy blew over to an extent, Logan could start getting his brand involved in different events. And the first one was during the first half of 2018, Logan Paul drummed up an interest for a fight against fellow YouTuber KSI. The fight between the two ended in a draw, but brought in an estimated $11 million in revenue between in person tickets and pay per view live stream sales. But in January 2019 logan would say the following on his podcast so it's mail only march we're gonna attempt to go gay for just one month, for one so month. Then... this obviously led to a lot of controversy for logan again and then on march 29th logan released a video which was marked as a mockumentary which would involve the flat earth theory to which he interviewed self-proclaimed flat earthers and spoke at the 2018 flat earth conference in denver colorado 27th of july 2019 logan would host the youtube olympics and in a nutshell it involved loads of well-known youtubers taking part in numerous sporting events and with the funds that were raised for this event would be donated to the Special Olympics. Although it's unclear to see how much they donated, Logan Paul would bet $100,000 that he was the fastest YouTuber on the planet, to which he would fail because during the race he pulled his hamstring. This event would be a success for two reasons. They raised a lot of money for a good cause and Logan providing his worth, he deserves a second chance. In December 2020, Logan was sued by playing his pictures for the event that happened in Japan. Playing his pictures accused him of posting the video in order to escape a movie deal he had with them. They also claimed that the video led to Google suspending their contract with them, leaving them $3 million in debt. Fast forward to June 6, 2021, Logan would pull off the unimaginable fight against Floyd Mayweather, which would sell more than 1 million pay-per-view sales, which was understandable because the difference in fighters was absurd. He could have described it as a David vs Goliath fight, but David was the best fighter of all time and would prove this by beating Logan on the night. But give Logan credit where it's due, he did give it his best shot. But interestingly, he would say that he would rather take a punch from Floyd Mayweather than get punched from KSI. Just recently, he would sign with the WWE, which was a lifelong dream of his to be involved in the biggest entertainment business in the world and growing up he had background in wrestling so he has some experience with the industry another groundbreaking business he's recently been involved with is prime a drinks business that him and ksi set up alongside with their business partner the way that logan managed to win people over and revive his career was some story being able to post youtube videos and still getting the same views just shows how he's managed to revive his career not to mention his side businesses like nfts his polaroid business and boxing from this story you can see the decline as he was losing his career but then you can see the incline of him winning the people back but you can really see that those life lessons have really impacted him as a person to make him more mature and conscious of his actions and in the end what his consequences would lead to obviously he has blips but we're all human logan has the biggest ambitions in life to become the best entertainer on the planet and i wish nothing but the best for him